Hey world, do I have a treat for you? Oh, I sure do. And I trust me, it is a video that you will want to watch all the way through from the beginning to the end because you're going to learn so much. It is with the Iceman himself, with Wim Hof, the man who's climbed mountains in a pair of shorts and who's got this renowned breathwork called the Wim Hof Method. He's also got a book coming out just this week. So tune into this video, watch it, learn from it and feel the energy because a lot of positive vibes are radiating through this interview. So let me know what you think. Because more than 25 years, I've built this up in nature and I was alone and they called me crazy. And all what I was doing was terribly wrong, too much, too far, too dangerous. And now I'm changing the signs as it is. I got a mission. I got a message. I got a message to, for the people to be not confused, to be not depressed, to have a clear vision of life and a clear control over themselves right here, right now. Not tomorrow. Not in one year, not by the government, not by our teachers, by you, yourself. And that's, that's my message. And I showed it in the universities, so they cannot say it is not true. They cannot say it is the only philosophy. Oh yeah, he's telling nice things, but reality is uh, different. No, I tell you, reality is that you, are the master of your mind if you only invest into that idea because nature made us to be happy strong and healthy and that's what it is that is so powerful i i cannot tell you how much i agree with you and especially nowadays that so often it seems like our mind is running our body and it's just literally hijacking our emotions, it's hijacking what we think, what we do. So, and we forget that we can take our control back. We can, and all it takes is controlling our breath. So tell me a little bit about the power of breath. What does it mean to you? Uh, the power of breath. The breath is the life force. That is logic. We can be without food. We can be without uh, almost anything except for the breath. And the breath is the carrier of our soul, of our life force. So naturally, if you go and learn to control the breath, you begin to control the life force. You begin to learn to control the life force going into the depth of your own physiology, both of the mind and the body. And when it gets there and you begin to re uh, recognize that you are able to change the biochemistry in the depth, then you are able with your conscious will to connect with the depth of your physiology in the mind and in the body. And this all has been shown in the universities in the brain scans, you know what they saw? They saw in the best of brain scans in the world, where normally we have control over 16% of our brain at will. Now, through the breathing exercises, you make the neural activity in the brain go up to 100%. That means, you, begin, you are the one to bring the right foundation of neural activity in the brain, and then you can learn to enter with your will. Because your will is inside the brain, the seat of the mind, and it is neurotransmitters. And it is like an electric signal. And that signals then in all, inside all the brain. And this was thought impossible, but I showed it. What is the power of the breath? The breath is the carrier of the life force and the soul. 
So at will, now we are able to change the biochemistry in the brain, but also the body. And then all is able to connect at will. Where we need repair, we are able to go to because we are connected. Then we do the repair, physical repair, mental repair, emotional repair, trauma repair, all the repair to the point where we get into the moment. Where in the moment, you are just there. It's like love. When you love somebody, you don't think. You are. You are fully alive. You feel your stomach. You fly like a bird. Uh, all that is just being. Then a power stronger than your thought is uh, happening. Like you said, uh, our thoughts, thinking uh, processes are hijacking our emotions, controlling our life, controlling everywhere uh, and not leaving us alone when we need to go to sleep. It's still on, still on, like a hamster. I get the hamster out of there, put him in nature and be yourself in the depth because you are the alchemist. You have the ability to control 100% of your own brain. And then only then, the journey of the life and the soul and the realization of it all is happening. And that is a great, great journey. This is excellent. That is so true. And I wonder, you mentioned earlier that with even with your book, you just want to clear up the confusion. There is a lot of confusion when it comes to breath work. People think, why, I'm breathing all day, you know, 26,000 times or what, what not. How, what do you think there's a misconception and misunderstanding in people's life about breathing? It used to be, you know, oh, the, the yogis do it, the people who, you know, monks do it, but it's not necessarily a 21st century method or it's growing to be. Why do you think there is a huge misconception and how to clear up that misconception that it's not just some woo-woo thing, it's actually scientifically proven and it works? Yes, exactly. So what are big problems now in the world? That is the inability to control our own immune system. That is number one. Number two is the anxiety and depression, fear. That those control our lives, our mind, and we cannot control this. Now, I have shown in scientific comparative studies using the breath to be able to be in control over the immune system. Then I showed in science, in brain scans, how to tap into the deepest part of the, the brain, which was considered to be not possible, and now it is possible. I showed it one time, another time, eight times, eight times. And uh, very clearly on the monitor, they could see that I, I was handling and tapping into the deepest part of the brain, being able to control what is out of control when you have depression, bipolar, psychosis, anxiety, fear, and trauma. PTSD, and all those things concerning the mental wellness. We had no control, and now we found control. So, in short, what are the biggest problems now in the world? The immune system. We have proven that we, we are able to rebalance our connection and to boost and make stronger the immune system at will. We showed it. And then uh, with the mood, how do you feel? How do you feel in your mind? Your psychic well-being during the day. Can you learn to regulate that? It was thought of in science, impossible. That maybe you are lucky and then you feel good. But maybe you're not lucky and you don't feel good. But then you have to go to a psychiatrist or a psychologist uh, and then ask for medicine and uh, antidepressives. And I say, no, it is not necessary anymore. You are able to boost uh, your immune system against inflama uh, inflammation, 
which is virus and bacteria and everything. That is one. And the other one is the mood. You can learn to control and to rebalance your own psych, psychic well-being during the day. Goodbye, depression. Goodbye, inflammation. Take your suitcases out of here. That's correct. That is the new consciousness. And that is no speculation about it. So this is what we say, you and me. We say this to the people. You have questions. You have critics. All good, but we have answers coming from nature. And you know what? Our nature outside is our inner nature. When, when we begin to learn to respect the nature outside, yes, then the inner nature will become great. What is that? That is the breath. Because right. the breath is always in connection with the nature outside. So let not kill ourselves by uh, uh, keeping on going with the industrialization, exploitation of the earth, polluting the world, because we pollute our environment, we pollute our food, we pollute our air, is what gets into us. And of course, then we don't feel good and we deregulate inside and we get cancer, autoimmune diseases, depressions, and thousand other diseases. Absolutely. Let's change this world. How do you change it? Learn to control your own psychic well-being through the breath. Exactly. So and the you, breath is no fairy tale. It's real. I love that. That is, so, that, that is just so profound. And we can technically change our neurophysiology through breath work because it will impact our neurotransmitters, which ones get transmitted in which direction, the brain, the brain and lung and heart connection and just the gut connection. And all this is because we are profoundly oxygenating our body in a way. So oftentimes people are shallow breathers because we don't pay attention to our breath because it's automatic. It's controlled by our autonomic nervous system. And, uh oh, you froze. E can you hear me? Okay. So there's a, the internet connection is not exactly the best today. <laughs> so um, my question is people are spending a lot of time in their sympathetic um, sympathetic nervous system. They're not really tapping into much into parasympathetic, which is causing, you know, ex high stress and insomnia, anxiety. So just a 10 minute breath work can upregulate the parasympathetic response and even stimulate the vagus nerve, right? Yes. Not only the vagus nerve, also activate consciously parasympathetic nervous system activity. Now, parasympathetic nervous system activity is about restoration. It's about healing, repair. It's about peace. It's like a, when an animal is sick, it retrieves. It goes into parasympathetic modus, then the healing is taking place. And uh, uh, energy can build up instead of being uh, consumed. When we are, and that's what we are, we are a productive society. We always want more, 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 more. But we forgot about our physiology. Our physiology is not about more, more, more. It's about uh, uh, when something is needed, activation. And when it's done, you go into inactive uh, uh, being uh, uh, to restore, repair, and recharge. And that's what we do not do. Not only uh, is our mind always into productivity, more, more, and ongoing with thinking, that's the way we are schooled, and that is wrong. Uh, we are producing cortisol. Cortisol is for production, but then when we need to relax, we cannot relax because the cortisol is still in there. And when the cortisol is there, then the parasympathetic modus is not able to be activated. That, that means you get no new energy. You get no repair. You get no healing. 
you feel no peace, only stress, stress, stress. Then people get exhausted. Then people get burnouts. Mm -hmm. Then people get uh, autoimmune diseases because it deregulates the whole system. And it's only logical. And now we found the easy way, the direct way, very effective, very strong, how to tap into our deep nervous system of the action and the peace, of the performance and the healing, of the rest of, of the of, of doing something and the restoration. It's all there now. So the people who are listening, please take it up and do not only understand what we say, begin to practice, do it just once and feel the difference because you are the master of your mind. That means when you sit, you should be in meditation naturally. And when you are in action, you are 100% into action. That both feels great. It's plus, minus, plus, minus. That is charge. Right. It's like the battery. Yes. They go and then they charge. And that charge is life force. And when the life force is full bloom, in flow, with the right hormonal balance and everything, it's not difficult. Then you have flow. And where the, when the river is flowing, it is healthy, strong, transparent, beautiful, never boring. Amazing. That's who we are. You said that right. The hormonal balance is so key because that is the foundation of a balanced physiology from, from the neurology, from the nervous system uh, standpoint, from, from just inflammation standpoint, autoimmune standpoint, and really just being able to dial down that uh, overactivation, overactive nervous system, hormones are key. And with adequate breath work, we can balance that and dial down those stress hormones and upregulate the ones that will cause ease and relaxation and restoration. Now, what I wonder, so there is this fog of war between our parasympathetic nervous system and our sympathetic nervous system. We are designed to be in and out of those two states, yet we spend way too much in the sympathetic side of our nervous system. How, what is it that you think people would get people hooked like how did you get hooked on something such simple sounding as taking controlled breath and how has it changed your life like what is this one thing that breath really has done for you that made you wanting to do it every single day because it's going to have to have such a huge impact in your life that you feel motivated to keep on doing it yes I already for 44 years and I did not, there was no uh, pranayama or ki or chi or pneuma and all those terms. 44 years ago, yoga in the West was something strange. Don't do it. Don't be strange. Don't be awkward. Don't be out of the normal. What do you do? These strange postures. What? Uh, breath? We are breathing already, man. What, what are you talking about? Go away. We are Catholics. We are Protestants. We have our own life. We are the best of the world. We colonize all the world. We are so strong. And look where the world is now. Yeah. So uh, we cannot provide, we can shoot people to the moon and uh, even to Mars, but we cannot guarantee happiness, strength, and health to our children. So I was looking for that. I, I was looking to a world which was uh, uh, too much abuse, too much war, too much cruelty to animals, too much attention, too much stress, too much profanity going on. And, uh, and where is the depth? Where is the life? What, what is this all? I was angry about myself looking inside myself because the, in the books, you see all these readings. And I, wrote, I, I read a lot of books. And then I, I, I thought I let it go. Because one day I was thinking again, philosophizing, 17 I was, and I felt the attraction 
to go into the cold water just by intuition. I didn't know why, just felt it. What if I go in? I just felt it. And then when you go into the cold water, the first thing you do is <sighs> deep breathing. And you know why? Because when you go into the cold, deep breathing changes the biochemistry. It changes a deep breath, makes the biochemistry strong. And anything that needs to be opposed, a stressor that needs to be opposed, will be neutralized from within. Just use the breath. And I did not know that, but it felt good. So I began to do 25 of those breaths being in the water, and I could stay for five, six, seven minutes under the ice in control, no force. Amazing, the power of the breath. And then I began to separate the breathing, doing it at home. The cold state, I went every day since 44 years outside in cold water, or oh, every day, never skipped a day, because I like it, I love it. It's like I scream, you scream, we all scream, it's amazing. Yeah, that's cold water. So when I went home, I began to do this deep breathing, which I had done uh, automatically in, inside the cold water. And then I saw all the lights. I saw all the chakras. I saw all the esoteric secrets. I could make it all visible. And then I, uh, 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 then I developed and began to do the breathing because it felt really tremendously. I changed, transformed every day. Uh, and I had four children at the time and they need a lot of care because I was alone because my woman suicided and that's an emotional breakdown. Yes. But then uh, uh, every morning at four o'clock, I uh, rose from the bed and do my breathing, transform in the here, in the now, in the light. It's all there. The breath is the ability uh, to go beyond within yourself, beyond your thoughts, beyond your concepts, and you go into deep being. And that deep being we have alienated from. We became strangers from our own deep physiology. And then when something happens, like autoimmune diseases, cancer, or depression, we cannot tap in. We don't know the connection. But we have the power to connect through the breath and to heal, to make deep systems like the endocrine system, so the hormonal system, the immune system, the lymphatic system, vascular system, all these systems in control through our will. Absolutely. And I mean, it you... is, yes, and it is not difficult. It is complicated. We simplified it. And now you and me, we bring it out. We give it to the people. We talk about it. We talk about the confusion, about the depression, about the anxiety, about inflammation, and we say, just breathe. And it all comes okay. That's so true because at, at that level of breathing technique, you're actually tapping into your innate intelligence. Your body, especially if you're combining it with such cold ice water, your body is like survival mode. That is the one thing, the only thing that matters. So anything that is not needed shuts off the depression, the anxiety, all the stress, because that is not necessary for me to survive right now. So it allows for your immune system to start working at its optimal level. So it's functioning, it's restoring. And you have done the research. I mean, you've injected people with endotoxin to see how their, can, how their immune system can fight it through breath work and it works because you can upregulate that, that pathway to really make it stronger make it stronger to make your body stronger to fight it so oxygen is your supply initially that you're doing all this with why are we low on oxygen is our body not getting enough oxygen are our organs not getting enough oxygen 
why is that that oxygen could have such a huge impact life-changing impact on our physiology if it's inhaled correctly yes uh, that it is uh, oxygen is the life force we need oxygen but if we are shallow breathers we don't bring it into the depth of our physiology if that takes long time then we build up a deficit we build up negativity and that a, a, a to to less amount of the right biochemistry because the oxygen makes the body alkaline a depletion of oxygen or lack of oxygen builds up acidity so because we are profane in our breathing we build up acidity and then we keep on going because we have to do this we have to do that we have to do that etc and then the body says okay you are not listening you don't feel good but you still go on you don't listen to me i'm gonna break down i'm gonna shut down i'm gonna give you a disease because this body is not able to fight off any more uh, bacteria pathogens uh, back cell virus because it is a weakened system it's not the right biochemistry and it's very simple we only need to breathe consciously deep not only deep breathing makes our bodies alkaline nice ph degree which is very necessary condition for the life force the blood and uh, all, all to function uh, not only if we do deep breathing then our neurotransmitters of our will they go to all the cells and now it is uh, we are into the studies of the dna with top researchers showing that we can change with our will into our dna just by the will plus the biochemistry change through breathing techniques it's amazing. So the mind is there and is able to tap into the DNA and do the repair. We all want to feel good, but we don't know how to do it. Now it's time to go within and to de-traumatize our bodies from the past, from our genetical heredity from the past, to cleanse it, to get in, to give a, a great influence of our will, we are able to do that and to make uh, our endocrine system, our immune system and uh, energetic processes of the cell, the energy, all within our will in control. That means happiness, the hormones, the uh, uh, health, the immune system, and the metabolic processes in the cell, energy, we are able to control all that and with that we become happy strong and healthy not only we are able to tap into the dna and also repair the genetical past of our ancestors so we don't pass it to our children we say we are here we stop what was wrong and what could not heal we are so strong now we are at will able to tap into the deepest of ourselves because that's the way nature made us that is an innate intelligence as you say very nice word because that is a new word and that innate intelligence we better get it within us uh, uh, in our conscious control because we are born with it we are born to be happy strong and healthy and clean and repair whatever has gone wrong in the past generations right here right now through the breath and through our will and that's such a new thing because people have all have especially nowadays always are looking from the, for for the outside to gain something to to feel happier i need to do this i need this i need to buy this i need to take this pill and this, it's really really just all about it's all inside already we just need to use yes. that internal pharmacy and innate intelligence to bring about health strength and happiness so I, I love that 
It is, it is so true. And it's about love. Yes. That is love. You are here like being in love. You don't think you are. And that is our spiritual being. Only now it needs somebody else. And in the beginning, you feel the love. You feel the butterflies. You feel this. You feel that. Now we are able to make that happen without conditions, without a person. We are able to unconditionally be in love with life. That's so true. And it's amazing. And you have done the different studies to measure how your physiology responds to breath work or ice. And you've, you know, had your brain scan done and had different electrodes stuck to you to measure your vital signs and everything throughout these interventions. And these all show that those things work and help upregulate the necessary healthy functions in your body. And it's really interesting because I use a wearable too to kind of like, while I do the breath work, I measure my HRV. And it spikes up and my HRV's average is like 46, not that high, unfortunately. But when I do your Wim Hof method breathing, I see my HRV, especially by the third round, to spike up to like close to 100 or so, which is really interesting because wow. that shows my parasympathetic is, is raising my, my, my body becoming wow. more resilient. So it's a really interesting metric to kind of see how my body responds to breath work. So I definitely love the fact that you have science-backed information and explanation to people because that's where we are. We are now in this place of science where, okay, you tell me it works, you feel good, but is that really true? And it, it, it is. Do you use any, do you ever measure anything like that? Do you have something where you all the time just look at, okay, I want to see how it changes. Is my resting heart rate getting lower after the breath work or is my HRV changing? Do you do any of that? Uh, no, I've been uh, subject to so much uh, uh, scientific research. So I know, I know I can feel. And you know what? Uh, I know how to do things in science that are yet not known. But I feel them already. I see them already. And uh, for example, uh, when uh, in 2014, I said to the people, listen, um, I can uh, tap into the autonomic nervous system. And, uh, and uh, science was saying, no, this is not possible. In the books, it's saying humans are not able to control the uh, auto, uh, uh, autonomic nervous system. It's not possible. And, and I said, anti-immune system. So, uh, no, no, it's a, both not possible. But I feel it. I can see it. I can see it within myself. I do not even need uh, apparatus because I, uh, I, I got this innate intelligence. Intelligence derived from nature. Because in nature, that is where research is not happening. It's always happening in... Uh, in books and a laboratory and a, a, in a comfort zone behavioral uh, 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 environment and not in, in nature. So I told them, I can do this. And, uh, and then I told in uh, Detroit, hey, I can go into the psychi uh, psychiatric uh, part of the brain and heal them. No, no, this is not possible. No, you have to do this and then that. And then it opens up and then you are able to go in. It's a, no, but it's here in the books. It says it's not possible. And then I showed it in the brain scans. So the, I cannot depend. I can not depend on the measurement devices of nowadays because I am able to go past. And what is past? Past is going up till where I feel happy strong and healthy, where I feel control. So my control is maybe not enough for another person. Maybe he needs more control. Maybe he needs less control. Maybe he needs a little bit more pink and more stripes over there, more dots over there. So all the measurement devices is very nice, but what is the best is your own a natural device to be happy, strong and healthy. Yes, and being, to heal others. 
being able to tune in is so important and it takes time to raise that awareness. And you have worked with countless of people and you lead workshops. So do you, can you recall an event where somebody told you when this breath work, this method, this, you know, the ice plunges have made an amazing difference in my life. Can you recall something where somebody overcomes such a trauma or depression? I had today another letter. I get letters every day. And this is just about uh, thousands every day who get miraculous healings and uh, uh, they, they come from a dark place, very dark place, like 20 years taking antidepressives. They just do one session and then they are, hey, the light is there. And then they built off all the medicaments, the pills, it's going out. They have no anxiety anymore, it's gone. That is the way I receive letters every day. Today I had a father, a grandpapa, and his son and uh, uh, the, uh, his uh, uh, daughter-in-law, they had a little child who had cancer. And she, and she died when she was six months old. And that was even more anxiety. But they are doing the breathing and they feel psychically strong now. They are able to go past and on with the life and be the light in the light instead of the darkness of misery and emotional burden because to lose a child that is that is a, 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 a disastrous yes. for your psyche you break down yes i had uh, just now an hour less than an hour ago i had a talk with a person who is uh, trying to find a uh, uh, and do research on people who get overheated and uh, collapse after marathons. Mm -hmm. His son, he was 24 years old and died after running a marathon overheated. And because I'm the Iceman, I know about temperature regulation. So I, I told him, yeah, let's go and do this research so nobody needs to die of overheating and that is taking away his trauma to do something about it and so i get so many letters of people with all kinds of diseases all kinds of mental disorders who are healed who found yes. the light again who found control within and it is so simple so our message to all the listeners is the breath really has all in store for you to rebalance your life the way nature meant it to be. And that is to be happy, strong, and healthy. When you are in the misery, when you have a loss, when you had an accident, and then you don't suddenly don't know what to do. No, we learn you through the breath to tap into the deepest of your physiology. And the deepest of our physiology is the emotion itself. This and is, we yes. now know to how to regulate it. When, uh, normally you let it go, but when you need it, the breath is awaiting. Your soul is awaiting. And just make use of it and try it out. Don't talk about it in yourself, in your mind. Do it. Yes. And when you do it and you say, uh, I don't feel anything, then skip it. That's okay, but try it out. I'm sure you will be convinced through transformation, through your feeling, through your emotion, because your emotion is the most beautiful thing you can uh, experience. And I can 100% attest to that because about a year ago, I lost someone really close to me. And what brought me back from letting go and acceptance, I almost every day went to the beach went into the ocean and did breath work. And that just brought me back to life. You people think, you know, you breathe every day, you're alive, but until you feel that you're alive, you're not. And there's so much that's draining your energy and draining your life. Once you take back that control is when you truly understand the importance of controlled breathing and the techniques that are so simple. You can do it in 10 minutes and yet it can have an impact on your entire life or at least your day for sure. So 
I 100% agree with everything that you just said. How, I mean, people can find you over the internet, many, many ways. You have a lot of podcasts you've been on. Now you have a book that's out and you have an app. So people have access to this. What would you say if someone has never done it? They have like, they just a big skeptic. How would you recommend them to get started? What would be the one thing that you would tell them that you don't think you might need it, but you should still try it? Yes, uh, I love skepticism because it gets rid of false hope. And that is good, but don't close the door for the eventual beautiful truth that you need. Because that's why you became a skeptic, to only open the door for the real truth. Now, if you, uh, I go through the signs, so there is no speculation about it because I'm a skeptic myself, deeply. And only through the meticulous scrutiny of science, when it is proven, then it is okay for me to bring it out. And I believe, I believe, I have intuition. I can see things yet not proven. But I always do the science, but the science takes time. So, Try this method. Just try it once. It only takes 20 minutes. So that is worth doing it. I got so far as I got through the science, changed the books in the university. They make a Hollywood film next year about me. Now the book is coming out. Really, that is the best marketing for a mission to come out. They play my role, a younger somebody uh -huh. and all. It's there, it's all official. And that all is good. I have convinced the world. So now it's up to you. You skeptic, which is great. I think it is an ability to, uh, to make the right choice, to consciously go into something and not just jump into something. Yes. yes? So I have respect for that. But I say, just try this once. And when it doesn't do anything for you, then you are right. Then it is not for you. But up till now, millions have been doing this. It's not because of my words, but it's because of the signs. And then, yes, this man has gone into intuition, through the intuition, genuine intuition and instinct, because more than 25 years I've built this up in nature and I was alone and they called me crazy and all what I was doing was terribly wrong, too much, too far, too dangerous. And now I'm changing the science as it is. I'm teaching doctors and professors all over the world, being a dropout of school. So, hey, I love skepticism because I don't like shit in this world. Anything they want to sell, I don't like it. I like genuinely coming from the heart. What is the soul all about? What is healing? What is love? I have the right to know and I have the right to share it. And that's what I do. Yes. So your books come out in the UK. When are we expecting it in the U.S.? In the U.S., it's 20th of October. Oh, excellent. Okay. And uh, it's already a bestseller here, uh, just from today. So I'm very happy about that. That's good because I'm a man on the mission. I want it to be spread as wide as possible, especially now in this time of confusion and anxiety and the weakness of our physiology. Our knowledge of our physiology is so weak that the government, who is sort of misleading us, uh, uh, they have no knowledge how to make our physiology strong. No, they wait for vaccines. The economy has to stop. You are out of work. You uh, cannot go to school. You cannot visit your grandma and all those things. 
go and talk about the inner power which is able to heal to bring happiness strength and health talk yes. about that because science has backed it up already and it doesn't cost anything it costs your belief your belief in being beautiful as you are feel that realize that because that's who you are and what you are and not this dark cloud not the despair not the confusion they made us that is bullshit and that yeah. bullshit needs to get out of us and we are becoming them very beautiful people all and may I assume you have not been sick for decades. Do you ever have any bad days? Like where you're just like, this is not just my light of the day. Do you have any days when you're just not on top of the world? You know, uh, sometimes there is sun, sometimes there is a hurricane, sometimes there is rain. It always changes, always. But I'm in the eye of the hurricane. I can find peace anytime. I became, become timeless anytime. When I go into the eyes, then my thoughts and all the symptoms of bad feelings, which is thoughts and uh, worries and anxiety and or pain, they disappear. They disappear because you get into the moment. You learn to control the adrenal axis and the adrenaline has been shown in science that when you do the breathing, when you do the breathing exercises, the adrenaline, uh, and you feel high while, you, while you're being on the sofa or in bed, you're kind of high, very relaxed, then your adrenaline is a, at a level more than somebody who's going into its first bungee jump. You see? That is the science behind it. And that is powerful. So when something is bothering, that is like danger because it's like mist. And when you go into the breathing, then the adrenaline spikes in inside the body and makes the confusion whoa, go away. That's amazing. And I actually just did my very first ice bath two weeks ago. And I felt high for two days. No <laughs> joke. <laughs> I, had, I had the energy of a, uh, I don't know, of somebody who just slept yeah. for 10 hours. And it was amazing. You'd be like, why are you so upbeat? What is going on with you? I'm like, I just sat, I just sat in an ice for four minutes for the very first time. Wow. And, and I mean, I do cold showers, so I'm sort of used to it. And then I do the uh, hot and cold exposure and exchanges, which I noticed having an amazing effect on my body. But I've never done an ice bath before that two weeks ago time. And I was hooked in a matter of seconds. Wow. I'm like, I need this in my life. Maybe. So it's, it's something where people are like, oh, I don't know, I'm afraid. I don't know how I'm going to react. But once you're there, it's... It's so simple and you get so addicted to feeling that good without harming your body in any way. So this is amazing. I yes. am so, so happy that we had a chance to chat. I am going to let you get back to your evening and please continue your work. What do you, what would you, if, if my grandchild would ask me about who was Wim Hof, who is Wim Hof, well, grandchild. So that would be like 50 years from now. What would you want them to remember you by? How would you want them to ex describe who you are? That Wim Hof was a simple man who changed the world. And uh, by uh, staying simple in this complicated world where everybody wants more, 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 you stay simply who you are and what you are, you become the best ever. So I give to these children, be who you are, because you are beautiful. Believe in yourself, and you become the greatest person in the universe. Indeed. Amen to that. <laughs> <laughs> so, and it is so. It is so. Thank you. Yes. It is time. It is time that we take ownership of our own minds.
It is time, yes, because it's power time. of the unlimited mind, the unlimited power of the mind is ours now to connect with. It has been shown, and now the time has begun. Yes. So we cannot have our monkey mind control our body anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's got to be the other way around. This yes. is excellent. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Keep up the amazing it is work. A, yes. It's a thought away. Yes. Wow. It's one thought. Just, hey man, where do you invest in? Into your unlimited power of your mind or the limited power of your mind? It will manifest. Yes. All it takes, just take deep breath. That's it takes. Yes. Something so simple can be some something so life-changing it's what usually blows my mind nowadays yeah yes the, the, the world breath, of biohacking yes the breath is the carrier of the mind through the breath the mind is able to tap into the dna into the bone marrow into the deepest part of the brain it's all been shown so deep breathing makes our body alive with oxygen, then it becomes alkaline, the right pH level, and then your mind is able to connect with all the parts in the body to do the repair, to de-traumatize, to feel happy, strong, and healthy. Yes. Boom. Magic, that is love. Yeah, magic, yes. yes. <laughs> That's who we are, we are magic. <laughs> Life that. is magic. <laughs> say, you know, say, life is not magic. Man, it's magic! <laughs> Indeed, yeah. it is. <laughs> I love that. Your energy is magnificent. Amazing. I love it. Well, and yours too. Yours too. You are a, a very welcoming, open hearted, beautiful person. Thank you for being here. Thank you. I really appreciate you. And I will be, you know, continuing to follow your work and everything that you do. And I'll continue having breath work and ice cold showers and bath part of my life. Indeed. And you keep it up. You do it every day, right? Both of them. Yes. Not a oh, day yeah. goes by without it. Oh, no. Skippy is not there. <laughs> 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 I just go and have my ice bath because they feel so good. They feel so good. Uh, where there is no thought, just feeling, I go. Super good. Well, thank you so much, Bimha, for this excellent, amazing experience to share some knowledge with the world from you. And thank please, you too. Keep up you. the good work and smile like the sun, like you do. Always. Oh, wouldn't stop it. <laughs> yes. Thank you so thank much. You. Okay. Bye, Claudia. Be well. Bye. Be well. Bye bye. Bye.